Give me, I know. give me some of the stuff on your paper that you wanted to get to that you're driving around uh, on 836 oh, that people was trying to ask. get to. Uh, let me see if people had this. Before he got <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm people. That's the wrong voice. <laughs> Guillermo's doing so many characters at this point that he never knows which character he's in. I forgot I got Burger King this morning. <laughs> There's Burger King on your mess. desk, of course. Yes, not surprising. He's not. Not only has he uh, been tortured by all these voices, he's been uh, in in the edit bay oh, yeah. because um, his friend people put together an epic speech for yeah. the weekend. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna give the people what they want. People, here's people. There are many people on this bandwagon who, at the end of last season, said to yourself, maybe even shared it openly. You said we got robbed. If we didn't have injuries and those <laughs> bum-ass refs, we would have won our seventh national championship. <laughs> you heard me, Filete, seven. Well, guess what, bro? Next year is here. The time is now. And all the descarado from UF and all the stupid Seminoles and all the haters and even that rat Nevin Shapiro, all of them will be watching us. The time is now. And don't any of you overestimate this moment. This team ain't got on us, bro. When I walked into that stadium today, they patted me down and they found the extra beer I had in my cargo shorts. They took it from me because this place is whack as But I persevered because I had to be at this game. They scheduled us to play on a Sunday night to try to throw us off. They scheduled in a different city because they know we are the dopest team in the country and everyone wants to see us. Bro, the NFL didn't even want to start this week because they know that you was playing on Sunday. And you know what happens when you play primetime on a Sunday night? The whole world watches you. And let's be real. Whenever the U plays, the whole world is already watching because it's all about the U. But for other teams, the whole world watching causes pressure. And when there's pressure, we drink cafecito. And for the week, para la gente de Evi, when they drink cafecito, se cagan. No, bro, imagínate cagándote delante de 100 mil gente en el stadium on National TV. Qué pena. But for the strong, para los caballos, when we drink cafecito, nos enfocamos. When you walk out there and you see 100,000 Canes fans yelling, espabilense. When you go out on that field and everybody's running around and things aren't going your way because the refs hate us and everything gets a few cags from time to time, remember, that's straight. Focus, because it only takes one play to bring out the turnover chain. Let me tell you a story. Last year in West 32, me and my boy George were down two cups in beer pong. Two cups. <laughs> the other team only had one cup left. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were in the middle of my game day playlist, and Sarosura had just come on. I looked into Jorjito's eyes, and he looked into my eyes, and he said, "Bro, get your <laughs> done." Next thing you know, we hit a cup. Then another cup. Then the other team tried to bounce one in, and I said, oh, you know me, hold out with that bouncing shit. And bing, bam, boom, we hit the final cup, and the game was over. And you know why? Because no one is better at beer pong than Canes fans. And because I got my done. That day, we barely walked into the stadium because of how fatal we were in the middle of the second quarter. But we walked in as beer pong champions. In all my years of winning championships, the one common thread that was woven into each of those teams was a promise. The same promise that me and Jorjito made, one man to another. I will get my <laughs> done. Can you guys make that promise to each other? Can you go out there and get your <laughs> done? That day we walked out of West 32 and we made history. And today, you get to write your history. And don't let any comment get in the way of you writing your history. You must have had so much fun with enfocate. What a great word in Spanish. Like, we need to start shouting and chanting this throughout South Florida. Enfocate. It's a dangerous one. I know, but that's, no, that's, I know, I know, I know. That's a guess. I understand, I understand that I'm in the danger stone, Mike. What's the matter with you? Great recall. Great recall. Great recall. Yeah. Oh man, I, I 
I don't know what else to say about people. I'm in love. I can't get enough of this character. And it's not a character. It's, it's, we grew up around, all of us grew up around him. All of us. It's, it's real life, Florida. bro. This is real. This is 100. You're talking about character. Who's a character? What are you talking about? What else? Are was... you coming or you're not coming this trip? <laughs> we have one spot left. I started doing a head count yesterday. Me, Jorjito, we're going. Gato one's coming. Beer, beer punk Gato champion. two is coming. Gato, two. Gato three is coming. <laughs> I don't know what was going on 25, 30 years ago. She like, oh, no, me estaba mal or what? But everybody was named Gato. <laughs> so we have one spot left if you want it, Danny. <laughs> Danielito. Yeah. Danielito. We're ready. We are about to bring the, we're going to put the big D in Dallas, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. Tell me, explain to me what you mean. We are going, oh, we're going to embarrass that yo. Orjeron, la cosa va a ser mala, va a estar mala. You can bring your Cajuns if you want. We're bringing the cojones. <laughs>